Welcome, friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. Sunday morning, I'm on my way to work. Got a couple hour shift I gotta pull. But after that, I think we're gonna take a look at my workbench. We had a little bit of talk about slamming saws on a bench, and uh, I had mentioned that it's kind of a custom bench that I built, and it drops down to the floor, allows for loading of heavy equipment, and then it'll raise up to working height. Uh, kind of unique, and a few viewers had mentioned they'd like to see that. So we'll take a look at it. You know, the, the bench was originally built because quite a few winters back we had a lot of snow. And over on the uh, filthy, disgusting four-stroke side of the shop, they were having a hard time keeping up with snowblower repair. So the boss decided that, you know, I was going to help them. Nobody was cutting wood, you couldn't find it underneath all the snow anyway. Uh, I agreed, but I told them I wasn't about to uh, bend over or work on the floor, and all the lift tables were being used by the other side of the shop. So he let me build this lift table workbench. And it works really good. I mean, I can put a generator on there and lift it up to working height. Or snow blower, anything heavy like that. So let's take a look at it. Ash brown. Cripes! I almost lost it. All right, we're in front of the big ass toolbox, which is kind of a big ass mess today, so we're going to leave the hutch closed. I just wanted to update you on any updates that there might be, and there's no updates to report, so there's your update. Uh, I will say that of all the mods I did to this box, the one I'm happiest with is the key fob locking system. I'll put a link in the, put a link in here somewhere. Uh, if you want to check that video out, it just makes, you know, instead of six locks I got to undo, I just click, open up the box, and click, lock the box, and at the end of the day, it's pretty sweet. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to look at the workbench. So let's see what we got. There's the bench. And if we take a closer look at it, you'll see that this is... Uh, maybe quarter inch thick plastic, the same stuff you would line a, a dump truck bed with, and one by two steel tubing to frame the whole thing out. Now the ends of that frame come out right here, and the same on the other side. So I built a plate. That plate has a bearing and a bearing. Those ride on this post, all right, that beam goes down from the ground up to an I-beam in the ceiling, and there's our winch, all right. So there's a plate on this side. There's a plate on this side, all right, two bearings. Now, the plate is cross-bolted with two bearings on top. Two bearings on the bottom. Same thing in the front. Cross bolt, bearing, 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 bearing. Now this whole boxed in set of plates can slide up and down the, the uh, post. Now there's this little bit of an A-frame right here and a hook. And then that goes up to the winch. I think it's a 1,500 pound, maybe 2,000 pound winch. And that allows me to drop this thing all the way to the floor, put something heavy on it, and raise it up to working height. So I'm going to set you down here and let's run this thing up and down.
Now obviously I could go farther down, but if I did, all my scrunches would hit the floor. And uh, that would be a disaster, because according to the guys on the other side of the shop, the only thing I need here to fix anything is a scrunch. Where's that bullshit button? Yeah. Well, let's bring it back up. Some of you might have caught that there's a white line right here that... A white line right here that I run it up to so I know what the working height is. So that's the bench. I mean, uh, you can see... It's a little wiggly and bouncy, so banging this off, but there ain't no big deal. Some other features to the bench, uh, I added this extension. Now if I want to work on a pole saw and set the pole saw right here, you know, that thing runs. I can just clamp the saw right into there. And then I've also got a a magnifier light here that I can well, you know I, I think that gets used mostly for pulling slivers everyone in the shop knows it's here and then this is where I clamp the small GoPro cube that you see all these videos on over the bench I'm on my way home from work Second sunny day we've had in a row. 53 degrees out. Woohoo! Uh, spring might finally be here in Wisconsin. It's been dragging its feet. and You know, you get all them gloomy days in a row and people just get more right? So, I hope you enjoyed the video on the vertical lift workbench. Uh, that experiment has worked out quite well. In fact, we're thinking about building a dumbwaiter using the same type of system. We'd like to get some heavy equipment moved, you know, one level up in the shop and not have to carry it up the steps or move enough equipment around on the ground level to get a forklift in and out, right? So we're thinking about this dumbwaiter, probably build it the same way. If we do, you know, I'll make sure and post a video of it. So that's all I got for you on the vertical lift workbench. Thanks for watching. Later.